If you're looking for Microsoft certified SQL or database training, then you'd naturally expect to find some of the most superior study programs available today. And by the way, SQL, or SQL as we say in the industry, stands for Structured Query Language. It's simply a standardised way of communicating with a database. Most database students tend to move into database administration roles after certification. This essentially involves the daily management of databases, often supported by a team of clerks. DBAs play a key management role in a company, because the information and reports that they produce are used by senior management to run their businesses. As such, professionals in this field can get paid very well. Alternatively, some students are interested in becoming developers. Software companies typically employ database developers to create and program databases as part of their software range. Again, salaries for these positions can be very attractive. Either way, you'll want to consider all the options with somebody who understands the commercial needs of the market. Somebody who can help you choose the most appropriate area to suit your personality. A quality company will make sure that your training is relevant to where you want to get to and targeted to meet the market's commercial needs. One question that often comes up is why should we get commercial certification rather than traditional academic qualifications that you get through schools, colleges or universities? Well, essentially industry recognises that gaining the proper accreditation from the likes of Microsoft, CompTIA, Cisco or Adobe is far more effective and specialised, saving both time and money. Commercial certification concentrates on the actual skills that are required, together with an appropriate level of background knowledge. Rather than going into the depths of background detail that academic courses can often get bogged down in. The bottom line is, recognised IT certification provides exactly what an employer needs. It says what you do in the title. For example, the Microsoft Certified Professional Qualification in Windows XP Administration and Configuration. So, an employer just needs to identify exactly what they need and what certifications will fulfil that need, which of course makes it much simpler for them, and that's why they prefer it. Take a good look at the certifications that you're considering. Make sure they're all current and commercially required. Don't bother with courses that lead to unknown in-house type certificates. Only the fully recognised accreditations from the major players like Microsoft, CompTIA, Adobe and Cisco are really going to mean anything to employers.